ever since I've gotten my espresso machine, I've been chasing the perfect espresso shot. This WDT tool has been very helpful to break up the clumps and distribute the grinds. However, it can be tedious and inconsistent. And that's why I made this, a semi-automatic WDT tool that distributes the grounds perfect every time. Hi, my name is Josh Hancock, and here's how I made it. Using Fusion 360, I designed a planetary gear system which holds the needles and distributes the grounds and is nested into an upper and lower housing. Next, I equip myself with the proper PPE to use the water art jet on campus. I will use this machine to cut the gears using a quarter inch sheet of polycarbonate. I started the water jet and placed my stock onto the machine, making sure to clamp it down. I decided to cut the gears using plastic because it was cheaper and easier to cut compared to metal. In a resin cast, I started assembling my box mold using MDF coated boards. I made sure that there was enough room between my 3D print pattern and the walls. The corner and the base of the box were taped using packing tape. My pattern was then placed into the box and I began to mix the two-part silicone rubber. This required using a scale to ensure one-to-one -one mixture. The silicon was then added to the box and left to cure overnight. The following morning, the walls were removed, revealing the silicone mold. The plastic resin was also mixed at a one-to-one -one ratio using the scale. The resin was slowly poured into the mold, trying to reduce the formation of voids. After filling the mold, excess resin was scraped away and the part was left to cure over the next 24 hours. Upon removing the part from the mold, there were a fair amount of bubbles and voids. However, this really only impacts the aesthetics. The same manufacturing process was used for the top housing, which also has some bubbles and voids. Holes were then drilled into the top housing for the gear pins. A 3D printed template was used to locate these holes. The gears also needed holes bored out to allow the press fit for the pins. The gears were then assembled to the top housing using these metal pins. Once the top housing was assembled, the needles were ready to be installed. Using wire cutters, the needles were cut to size. The needles were purchased through Amazon.com. After being cut to size, the pieces were super glued to the gears. The top housing was completed. Lastly, the ring gear needed to be glued onto the bottom housing. Each surface was prepped using sandpaper and wiped down with isopropyl alcohol. A thin layer of superglue was applied to the ring gear and then pressed onto the bottom housing. Weight was applied to the joint and left to dry. Now that the two pieces are adhered, the two halves were assembled, revealing the final product. By simply placing the tool on the portafilter, the grounds are perfectly distributed after a couple of spins. After a quick tamp, it's time to brew some coffee. With a perfectly distributed bed of coffee, the shot pulls evenly across the bottom of the basket, resulting in an evenly extracted shot. Thank you very much for watching.